This time last week, most of us had probably never heard of Pokemon Go, but what a difference a few days make. The geocaching catch them all game has been downloaded 7.5 million times in the U.S. and TechCrunch says that the game is making around one and a half million dollars a day. Insane. Lindsay is live in La Vista to explain the hidden benefit to the community. That's right. Well, Jen and Jennifer, uh, to put it in perspective too, I mean, this app got more downloads on its first day than Tinder has since it opened. I mean, you know, don't necessarily know if people are swiping more for Pikachus, but that's another story. Anyways, this location where we're at, the La Vista Library, is a gym, which is a popular spot for folks to come and play uh, against other members on this game. This is just one of several spots around the metro that is seeing more action this summer because of this Pokemon Go. Take a look. Lilacs and the bumblebees in the gardens at the Gerald R. Ford birth site. It's funny, you know who's playing Pokemon because we're all the 20 and 30 somethings walking around with our phones up to our face. <laughs> Summer Johnson hunts for a caterpie. And it evolves into a cocoon called a metapod, and then you evolve that into a big butterfly called a butterfree. There's a community perk to the pokey craze. Most of the game, you just have to wander around and find these creatures that pop up in your phone's view. But part of the game has these pokey stops on a map where anyone can see. These stops have virtual supplies for the players, and these stops our local artwork, monuments, and part of the community's culture. Okay, he's around here somewhere. Ariel Senna was out on the hunt for her lunch break. A haunter. Got him on the first try. And caught some local culture. Morris Co. building. With her Pokemon catch of the day. There's, there's a lot in the Jean Leahy Mall. And I've walked around there quite a bit because I work down here, but I've never stopped. Like, there's one of the stops is like, a plaque on the wall that I would have never stopped to read otherwise. And those on the flip side of this are loving it too. Omaha artist Waddy White made a stencil of his son Simon 11 years ago when he was five for a piece of street art. Last week, Simon, now 14, came into dad's studio talking about how he was part of this new app game. And to have this thing I did of Simon be, be something that a lot of other people who really don't care that much about public art uh, go and they see and they, they react to um, is really great. Now the only thing left to decide is whether they consider themselves Pokemon or Omaha famous. Uh, Pokemon famous in Omaha, that is. I don't think this is like a country so, no saying it's stop. more like poka omaha famous is that is, uh, that's the phrase you're working with yeah <laughs> you got some options you can play we can trademark it yeah trademark it wonder if that trademark pokey omaha famous will make as much money as this is making so you can see here on the screen these kind of bright spirally things that's the gym where we are at and i can click on it and it takes me to a whole new part of the game. So some of the folks that we talked to today as they're playing Jen and Jennifer say they are logging a whole lot of extra steps, 15 to 20,000 steps a day. There is a way that the community can benefit from that too. We have a link online with this story to some other apps that kind of sync up to the Pokemon Go app. And for all of the distance that you walk, they will donate money to charity. Pretty cool. We're live in La Vista, gonna send it back to you. All right, thanks Lindsay. That's the thing, it is getting people out and about and moving so there is definitely a benefit to what's going on there it certainly <laughs> is and you know what i may just have to look into it doesn't it feel like with every passing day it's like i really need to check this I out know, this crazy I'm out okay, of the loop we may